It's Friday of week one, and we're eating at Fazoli's today. We really do miss the Mexican grill. It's a sad fact that we can't go to the Mexican grill in Galveston. I, I do hope Thank you. I've seen some Robot in Three Days reveal videos already. I saw week 16. Um, 1.0 has a wonderful video with a drone, and those guys are awesome. And I've seen the Mizzou team. Um, the Zoo. Zookeepers. The zookeepers, the Mizzou team. So good job to all those three teams. I liked uh, the Archimedes screw on the on the zookeepers, and their their winch system has these little pegs on it, on a piece of extrusion. So that's that's kind of cool. So that's the thing is like the lifter on Team 1.0, the, the climbing system with the Velcro and the spool works wonderfully. I think we're all watching the first Q and A to make sure we have a clarification on whether or not. Velcro on the end of a rope is legal, so we're going to check that out. So watch for the Q&A to, to see what that legality decision is. This is kind of serious. I heard that a lot of teams having a really hard time finding that 9-inch extension spring. They, I think, first community has bought out MasterCard. The MasterCard is out for two weeks. And McMaster Car won't sell internationally, from what I hear. So we'll probably have the website up by Wednesday of next week, available for shipping. I know right, you guys are on the clock. Oh, you were? You want me to? AndyMark.com/slash uh, spring. Where, where? We're here. Right here. Okay, right, right there. Okay. We have the Evo shifter being released today. So probably like before the time this video was released, the Evo shifter was released. Now not all of the versions are available because there's like 720 different versions you can find. Check out the really cool video that we put together. Nick is starring in that video and he's got some really good things to say about the Evo shifter. He was the main designer of this. So check out the video that, that Brett made with Nick um, linked somewhere on this page, maybe over here. Yeah, so you'll find that. It's whoever has the most by St. Louis Champs. Whoever had the most compliant wheels has to be on the robot. We'll get it. We'll get a gift certificate for half off of the value of all those compliant wheels. Teams out there, my advice to you is figure out your drivetrain. That's that's probably causing our team the most most um, discussion right now. Is the trade-off between a easy to build like kit chassis that can run within a couple days versus a more mobile Swerve or Mechanum or some or Ace Drive or whatever Octicanum it might give you benefits to, for playing the game, but it might. Uh, the trade-off is it's, it's not going to be available for a few weeks for you to build that. So that's the biggest thing you got to figure out, right? You should be prototyping your fuel collection and shooting. If you choose to do that, you should be prototyping your, your gear handling and gear placement and all those things. And then also, if you're choosing to climb the rope, you should be prototyping those. Probably the best thing to do also is to look look up the Robot in Three Days videos um, that I mentioned earlier about what they've done and, and try to do better than what they've done. I think that's what, what they all challenge us to do is here's what we've done you can do better than this keep working on it we will see you on monday and have a good weekend building your prototypes bye Marshall from Team 900. <laughs> don't, don't name names. <laughs> Edit. Marshall. <laughs>